Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Capricorn. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you in this connection, what they don't like as much, their hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Rana Barbara Moore, and if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the person connected to or coming towards Capricorn thinking about them right now? What are they feeling? Are they feeling in their heart space? <clears throat> what do they like best? What do they like best about Capricorn in this connection, this connection with you? What don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes when it comes to this connection? And what are their deepest fears? Now we're going to get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm going to lay those face down over here, and we will look at them together at the end. And we do have the world card on the bottom of the deck. All the fixed energies, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, could be significant, strong in your chart or your persons, but I love this world card. It's one of my, honestly, it's one of my favorite cards in this deck, and I love the long red ribbon. It always reminds me of the red thread that connects souls, people that are meant to meet. No matter where you're at, no matter the differences, the challenges, the distance between you, emotional or physical, um, age differences, cultural differences, backgrounds, you know, whatever. Two souls that are meant to come together just have a way of finding each other. They have a way of meeting. They have a way of connecting and overcoming any, you know, difficulties or distance because love just has a way of making things work out. And I know nothing's always perfect. You know, it's not like a fairy tale or anything, but there is a sense that a connection that's a strong connection can overcome any of the little things that so easily come in between people that um, that often have feelings for one another. This is success. It's very positive. It can be the end of a cycle. It can be like a win. It can be honestly a big shift. It can be somebody who has been hoping and, you know, maybe thinking of you, wanting to meet you, wanting to come towards you uh, for quite some time, really thinking, you know, they might have an opportunity. This could come together. This could work out because this card really is about success. It's very positive. It's a completion and it's a win. So I think that, you know, in some cases, it can be somebody who has been thinking about how to come towards you for quite some time could be really getting their hopes up that this could come together what they're thinking overall we have the high priestess cancer virgo pisces for me as a reader but this is a very psychic a very intuitive and yet an often quiet energy this can be like a keeper of secrets it can be somebody who's holding in a lot of things now this is somebody who feels very deeply who senses very deeply their intuition can be on point it can be a strong psychic connection and you could be picking up on someone's energy they could be picking up on yours they could be thinking about you and even maybe having a lot of feelings but this is somebody for some reason that could be keeping the extent of what they're feeling to themselves and let's go ahead and see spirit why do we have the high priestess here why do we have the high priestess here for what this person is thinking overall about this connection temperance okay could definitely be somebody waiting for the right moment i do see the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck gemini energy could be significant but there might be a little overthinking too tossing turning sleepless nights and maybe even stressing about what to say or do with the high priestess clarified by the temperance energy sagittarius could be significant but it seems like there is something about this person having this sense that things do have a way of working out because that temperance energy is somebody who is kind of patient and understanding that knows that the universe is bringing things together in the right way in the right time even if they aren't somebody that necessarily talks or uses words like that you know like 
um, divine and spiritual and divine timing, things like that, doesn't really matter. You can just have a sense about things and this understanding that there are, you know, higher forces at work in the universe that have a way of bringing things together. Also, I feel like with the temperance energy, for me, a lot of times it can be specific guidance from divine about a relationship, the universe working, maybe to draw or bring two people together. This person could be seeing signs of you, thinking about you, you know, seeing your name, hearing songs that remind them of you, all of that. But there is something about divine timing and they could be waiting for the right moment, keeping some things to themselves until they do feel like the moment is right with that temperance energy. And it seems pretty clear that it is somebody who has feelings for you, but they're not sure how to, you know, how to move forward because how they're feeling is the Eight of Swords and the King of Cups. Pisces energy could be significant. Um, Cancer and Scorpio as well, but I read the Kings as mutable. And then Gemini again for this Eight of Swords. Now we do, we saw the Nine of Swords, which is stressing and overthinking. The Eight of Swords is somebody who's going around in circles in their mind because for some reason they feel stuck. Swords are thoughts. This is somebody who's only stuck really in their mind. This is somebody who is just, you know, free to move forward, free to express what they're feeling. But for some reason, they kind of feel like they can't, like they can't say what's really in their heart. But with the King of Cups, this is a very genuine energy. This is somebody who has deep feelings. This is somebody who cares. This is somebody who has been looking into their heart space, thinking how they feel and genuinely wanting to make an offer. They could be falling for you. With the King of Cups, they could be falling pretty hard. Now, the King of Cups, it is an emotionally mature energy. So it is somebody who, if they are going to make an offer or take a step forward from the heart, they do want to know they have what it takes to see it through and, and back it up. And maybe they are feeling like for some reason, they aren't, you know, fully ready. They don't want to make promises they can't keep. Or maybe they're, you know, worried that maybe you have some other things going on. And if they were to express themselves, maybe it wouldn't be quite the right time. But the feelings are definitely there. I mean, this is what's going on in their heart space. This is somebody who is, you know, interested in you or potentially coming towards you in a sense. But um, but I do tend to read for, you know, people have somebody specific on their mind. But obviously, we're all in different situations. Some of you haven't met your person yet. Some of you know who's on your mind. Some of you are dealing with strong connections. And some of you are just, you know, beginning to get to know somebody. Whatever the case is, though, with the King of Cups in their heart space, it is, you know, somebody coming towards you who is ready who is ready for more and yet for some reason once again overthinking and definitely stressing a bit about maybe making an offer what they like best about you is the nine of pentacles virgo energy could be significant um but this is somebody who's independent. This is somebody who's doing really well on their own. They could definitely admire you, see you as somebody who has things together, somebody who knows who they are, somebody who knows what, you know, really matters and what's important to you. Can be, of course, the um, ver um, Taurus and Capricorn as well because it is Earth, but I do read the 8, 9, and 10 as the mutable energies. But regardless, they do see you as somebody who... You know, it's like you know who you are. You know what it is that you want. You do take care. Like, take care of yourself with this Nine of Pentacles. It is somebody who has a confidence about what they're good at and isn't willing, you know, isn't afraid to, like, work for what's important to them. But it's somebody who honestly is okay standing on their own. And that's a very positive energy. The Nine of Pentacles is really the next step before the, you know, the final step before the Ten of Pentacles. You've got to be good and stable and, you know, confident on your own to attract in somebody who's a vibrational match for that energy and have a lasting connection. So they do admire you and feel like, you know, that you really, you know, you've really got it together. They find you attractive, interesting, intelligent, and clarifying that, wow, we have the Empress energy, which is interesting because the Emperor was just like kind of peeking out of the deck, but it did go back in. So we do have, but it's funny, I just saw it for a second. Oh, there it is. I was kind of, I was kind of curious. I was like, it was right there. I just saw it kind of peeking out and the sun on the bottom of the deck, Aries energy, Leo could be, um, um, could be significant here, but with the emperor here kind of peeking out, isn't fully, it didn't really come out. It was just kind of peeking at me. Um, it feels like it is somebody 
who is thinking, you know, maybe this could get serious. Maybe you really could be the one. With the sun on the bottom of the deck, they do feel, you know, very, very good. Very good around you. Very happy around you. The days you talk are like a bright light and, you know, in their days, um, their warm feelings. This is good energy, good news. And I'm so sorry. My cat wants to come in. He just did this earlier. Suko. Come on. We'll let him say hi. <laughs> I know my animals have been really antsy re recently. I don't know if it's eclipse season that's got them all worked up, but okay. <laughs> Hopefully it takes off without knocking the camera over. Okay, sorry about that. Um but anyway, with those energies on the bottom of the deck, that, you know, there is something they feel really good about when it comes to you. And they could even be finding more confidence in themselves because of this connection with you and knowing you with that emperor energy. But look at this. We have the nine of pentacles clarified by the empress. Um, Taurus and Libra energy for me as a reader is planet Venus. It is, you know, it is love, it is beauty, it is abundance, it is prosperity, it is new things, it is potential. And when it comes to a love reading for me, it is someone that could absolutely be the one. And so the way the Empress jumped out here and the Emperor was kind of peeking out, some of you could be dealing with a pretty strong connection, but I feel like the more this person thinks about you, thinks about where this can go and what can happen, the more they feel like they might be really ready. They might be really ready for this. And honestly, I think they feel like you bring out the best in them. They do feel like there's something about this connection that's different from any other. And um, I have to say to have these beautiful energies showing up for what they like best about you could definitely be that you have been doing some inner work. You have been getting really aware of who you are, just anchoring in that energy of knowing your worth and your value and, and attracting in a connection that's a match. Now, what they don't like as much is the judgment card, which is kind of interesting because this is a very powerful very positive energy kind of showing up in a challenge placement. For me, sometimes in a love reading, the judgment card can be the universe kind of, you know, blowing the trumpet, giving somebody a nudge, saying it's time to do something decisive. It's time to, you know, take a step forward, to be open, to be honest. It's it's time for a turning point. It can be an awakening. It can be a connection. It can be a reconnection, but it is an extremely positive energy. So I'm kind of curious why that is in in, you know, kind of a challenge placement here. Spirit, why do we have the judgment card as what they don't like as much about the connection? Why do we have the judgment card here? Hermit, interesting. And we do have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles right behind it. Um, cancer energy could be significant. Taurus with that Knight of Pentacles, and we'll talk about that Hermit in a second. But with the Four of Cups, this is sometimes somebody who isn't really happy with things as they are, but they're not sure if they have an opportunity. It can be somebody who's a little guarded and a little closed off or maybe feels like they have missed or might miss an opportunity, but they might not even realize it's possible. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's somebody who's planning, somebody who's taking their time, somebody who's steadily moving forward, but this could be somebody that worries that, you know, if they take too long, they could miss a chance. And yet I do feel like they kind of want to get themselves centered and grounded a little bit too. We've got the judgment card clarified by the hermit. Virgo energy again could be significant, but this could be somebody that might be getting a nudge from the universe with all these angels at work with the temperance and the judgment here with those powerful energies, you know, could be feeling like it's time to do or say something. But with that hermit energy there, they could be a little bit in hermit mode. It could be somebody who's taking a little time to think deeply about things, to process, or maybe you have gotten quiet in some cases because it's what they don't like as much. If you've gotten quiet, maybe they're wondering, you know, if you feel the same, if you're interested but there's definitely some quiet energy here 
with the high priest and the hermit. Sometimes this can be like divines and separation that maybe haven't been talking, but a lot of psychic energy. There's a lot of depth here. And I feel like no matter what the situation is, the two of you are picking up on each other quite a bit. Could just be like somebody waiting for the other person to speak up and take a step and make a move. Maybe they don't want to be the one that has to, you know, that has to do it. And yet, you know, there is this sense that, you know, something needs to be done. A step needs to be taken with this King of Cups. Their highest hopes are the Justice card. Libra energy could be significant. And this is a really positive energy. This is that um, a hope that things work out balanced and fair and right for all parties. This is somebody who can see things from, you know, the perspective of the other person and somebody who does genuinely want to do things in a good and right and positive way. Now, in some cases with the Eight of Swords and the King of Cups here sitting right next to a Justice card, somebody could be very interested in you, but maybe waiting for you to finalize or take care of something or also waiting for them to finalize, release or take care of something before they take a big step forward because sometimes that justice energy can be like finalize, finalizing a divorce, releasing a past connection and maybe they just feel like their hands are tied until something is taken care of with the justice card. Obviously it's very specific. That's not going to be for everyone but that can be and since they're sitting right next to each other, you know, especially here with this temperance and divine timing, they could be waiting until things are final, waiting until somebody is fully single with this nine of pentacles because they feel like you could be their one, their person but let's go ahead and see what the justice is about. This also can be them hoping that things are balanced, that things are equal, that you feel for them what they feel for you. So, Spirit, why do we have the justice card here in their highest hopes? Why do we have the justice card? Why do we have the justice card in the highest hopes? The person connected to or coming towards Capricorn. Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, Leo energy could be significant, but I have to say, um, Aries and Sagittarius as well, but I read these as the Knights is fixed. They are interested in you. They are attracted to you, even if they have been quiet or they're trying to take their time or they're wanting to do things right or maybe waiting for something to be final and sorted out. They are extremely interested. They are hoping for a chance, an opportunity, and maybe sooner than later. This is somebody with the Knight of Wands, can be very attracted to you, very interested in you, wanting to take action, wanting to take initiative. They might also be hoping that you take some sort of step towards them, but there can be a lot of heat, there can be a lot of chemistry. And the Knight of Wands, sometimes in a love reading, can worry me a little bit because it's somebody that can come rushing in with a lot of heat, but maybe doesn't necessarily have the stability or the the depth, you know, to really back it up. But we do have this Knight of Wands sitting here next to the King of Cups. This can be somebody that brings the heat and brings, you know, the the emotion and the feeling as well um, if they get out of their head and just take a chance, really. But with the Knight of Wands, I do feel like this person can't wait for things to work out, for things to come together, for things to balance out, because it's clear they're extremely attracted to and interested in you. Their deepest fears are the Ten of Swords. It's pretty self-explanatory. We all know the Ten of Swords can be a painful ending. It can be silence. It can be difficulty. And um, Gemini energy could be significant, but... Um, Libra Aquarius as well because it's swords, but I do read the final um, numbers as the mutable energies, but this is somebody that doesn't want silence. They don't want an ending. If there has been a lot of quiet between the two of you with that hermit and high priestess, they definitely want to move past that. If there's been a dif difficulty or a miscommunication or, you know, they don't want to be left out. They don't want to feel defeated. They don't want to feel discouraged. They don't want to lose a chance. They don't want pain. They don't want to suffer, you know, and nobody really does, but it seems like there is some sort of fear or doubt that there could be some sort of painful ending and or some sort of silence and it's the last thing they want it's like they want to talk to you they want to be around you so now we're going to look at what what is likely to happen what they're likely to do next any advice spirit has for you wow the empress my goodness we have both the empress cards show up that's really that's really quite incredible here and um and with the empress being what is likely to happen I feel like this person, I mean, what they like about you is the Empress energy. They feel like you could absolutely be that person, that person they're really happy with. And what's likely to happen is the Empress 
they could definitely take that step forward and really express that they do want to see where this can go. They do want to see what can happen. I mean, this is just such a beautiful energy. And I feel like if we really own, you know, the Emperor Empress energy, when we just set those intentions and we know in our heart, this is my worth, this is my value, anything or anyone or any connection that comes forward or awakens has to be a match for this energy. That is what we anchor in. I mean, this is a potentially very beautiful and significant connection could be just beginning to fully unfold. But if you are, you know, dealing with a strong soul connection, divine connection, or really any kind, this is somebody who is recognizing your worth. They're recognizing your value and they really do fully want to explore this. I'm a little nervous about what they're likely to do because this energy, what's likely to happen is so positive. So what are they likely to do? Strength. Okay. I like that. Leo energy could be significant, but this is somebody I feel like that is going to get out of their head, into their heart. They are going to take the step forward. They are going to say what is in their heart. With the strength energy, this for me, a lot of times it can be the realization that it takes a lot of strength to be vulnerable. It can be somebody who's finding the confidence to express what they're feeling, to open their heart, to boldly step forward towards what really matters to them. And I'm kind of curious, and with such powerful potential energies. I'm almost nervous to pull clarifiers because it's so beautiful. But I'm kind of curious what the strength is all about. What are they wanting to work up their strength um, about? What are they wanting to, you know, to say or do? Because it feels like it's taking everything. And we have the higher font. My goodness. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Virgo, of course, Taurus and Capricorn as well could be significant. But... We've got the higher font clarifying the strength card and the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who not only has feelings, not only finds you attractive, this could be somebody that wants to get serious. The ten of pentacles we were just talking about, nine of pentacles is somebody who is ready, who is ready to take things further, is ready for a stable, serious, very positive, long-term connection, and they are feeling that way. They may not have expressed it yet with that on the bottom of the deck, but it seems like with the strength card clarified by the higher font, this is somebody who is getting the strength, the confidence to move forward and to tell you that they could be interested in getting more serious. Taurus energy could be significant with that higher font, but for me in a love reading, it is a potential commitment. It can be something long-term. It can be, you know, letting everybody in your life know, hey, we're together and and um, this is who I'm with and this is the person, you know, that, that I want to be with and just having the confidence to take that stand and let you know what you mean to them and where they would like to see this go. So what is your advice? Seven of Cups. Okay, very interesting. Scorpio energy could be significant, but the Seven of Cups is when you're hoping, when you're interested, when you're wanting something, but you're so pulled this direction and that, you don't take enough time to really hone in and focus on one thing long enough to like fully manifest it. So your guides are saying, think about what you want. Not the what ifs, not the worries, not the doubts, not what everybody else thinks, not what might happen, this, that, you know. Think about what it is you really want and get in the feeling of that. You get in the feeling of that and then you align with all the things. Divine, the universe is wanting to anchor into your existence and you begin to really experience some things. The Seven of Cups is just accidental manifestation. We all do it. We all, you know, everything that, you know, um, comes up next in our life in many ways is connected to what we're thinking, what we're feeling, the choices that we make. And, you know, that's how we manifest in kind of the next step, the next experience. With the Seven of Cups is somebody who's not really paying attention necessarily to what they're thinking. And it can be, you know, distracted and it's scattered and all over the place. And your guides are saying, this is the moment. Choose your cup. Choose what you want to focus your intention on, what you want to focus your heart, what you want to focus your energy on and do like with the eight of cups and, you know, release the things that just don't serve and feel or feel right and put your focus on choosing, you know, to pursue your ninth cup, which is your wish fulfillment, your 10th cup, which is your happy lasting connection. So don't let yourself be distracted or discouraged so much by all the what ifs, but you make your choices, you create your future, you choose the cup you want and you manifest 
manifest that in because you've got some beautiful potential coming up. You've got somebody who is interested in taking things further and seeing where these things can go. You've got somebody that really sees you as someone that could potentially be the one. And there's something about just thinking about that, imagining that and aligning yourself with that energy that causes it all to move in, maybe a lot more quickly than you realize. So beautiful reading. I do hope that there is something in there for everyone who is guided to this message. I definitely saw a little bit of similarities, um, especially around like advice and things like that to the reading that I just put up for Sagittarius. So if you have a Sagittarius, especially with this temperance energy popping out really early or is strong in your chart, might want to take a look at that. But um, regardless, I really do love what came through here. And um, if you like the reading, I'd love you to put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. If you'd like to connect on a more personal level, have bonus content throughout the month, my Patreon is open. I just put up a big message for... Um, eclipse season and I'm going to be doing for the lunar eclipse eclipse and Libra coming up, which is very relationship focused. I'm going to be doing a big strong soul connection relationship reading for that. Probably going to put that up on Saturday. So if you're interested, check out my Patreon and see if it's something that, you know, resonates for you. I'd love to connect with you all more. I want to thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of March. I'll be bringing your you and them love readings for April next. Thank you so much, Capricorn.